This video is to guide you on how to fulfill your Shopee and Lazada orders and print custom shipping label from Site Giant. Firstly, go into Orders, All Orders, and click on Order Processing on the top right. If this is your first time to go into Order Processing, then you will be directed to the Shipping Label Settings page. You are required to set up the shipment settings here. Besides that, you can also customize your shipping label template, pick list, hacking list, invoice template to your preference. Let us start with the Shopee channel first. If you have multiple Shopee stores, click and select the stores that you want to set up first. Then click on the general tab and enter your store details which will appear on the shipping label. Next, go into shipping label template. This is where you can customize your Shopee Airway bill. We have four types of Shopee Airway bill templates with item list, with fragile label, standard, and others which is for delivered by seller. Decide which template you would like to apply and customize it with the panels on the right. The same applies to pick list template, packing list template, and invoice template. Last but not least, click into career service settings. Click into the edit button for the career companies that you are using. Select the arrange shipment method based on your store eligibility. If you only have drop off option in your seller center, then you need to select drop off from site giant as well. Use manual select if you want the system to prompt you for the selection during the arrange shipment process. Besides that, manual select option allows you to choose the pickup address for one store order if you have multiple addresses in seller center. After that, select the shipping label template you would like to apply, the number of copies to print the shipping label, the header logo displayed on shipping label, and whether you want to print along the packing list and invoice. Once done, click apply. Remember, you are required to set up for all the career services that you are using. Once we have done setting up for the store, remember to click on the save button on the top right. If you are having more than one Shopee store, you can click on the copy settings, select the store that you want to copy to, and select the settings that you want to copy to that store. Once done, click copy. By doing this, the settings from the first store will be copied to the selected stores. Now, let us set up the shipping label settings for Lazada. Click into the Lazada icon, and you will have a similar settings and template customization as the one we did earlier for Shopee. However, here are a few things to take note of. For general, you are required to select the default shipping provider. After that, select the status you want to apply to the orders when you click Arrange Shipment. We would highly recommend you to select Set Status to Pack. This is to prevent the courier company from coming over to pick up before the parcel is ready. When the parcel is packed and ready, you can then update the order to ready to ship, which we will show you the steps later. Then, you can proceed to do the customization on the templates and apply the template into the career service settings. Remember to click on the save button when you have finished setting up the settings for the store. And if you have multiple Lazada stores, you can use the copy settings function as well. If you are a first-time user, you might find past orders that you have fulfilled from seller centers appearing in the pending section. Hence, you need to select the fulfilled orders, click move to, move to ship to prevent double printing. Once those past orders are moved from pending to ship, you can then begin to process your Shopee and Lazada orders from Site Giant. Now, let us start to process new marketplace orders from Site Giant. As we go into order processing, we will be directed to the pending tab by default. From the pending tab, you can apply sort by or click the filter function to filter based on your warehouse order picking method or which to be fulfilled first. Then, select the orders from both Shopee and Lazada and click on the Arrange Shipment button on the top right. Once you have clicked Arrange Shipment, Shopee orders will be arranged based on the pickup or drop-off option that you have set up earlier. If you have choose Manual Select, then you will be asked to select Pickup or Drop-off. Lazada orders will then set status to pack according to the status that you have selected earlier during the shipping label setup process. The orders will then be in queue, then they will be showing under to print tab, 
in the to process section. If you found orders fall under processing tab, click on the refresh icon or click on update tracking info. The orders will then go into the updating tab and when the orders are ready to print, they will be passed over to the to print tab. If you are using pick list, you can select the orders, click print, print pick list selected orders. Or you can choose print all to have all Shopee and Lazada orders available from the two print tab to populate into one pick list. Then you can pick all the items in one go. For shipping label printing, you will need to print by channel. Next, you can choose to print by store, by career, so that the shipping labels are sorted accordingly in order to fulfill the orders by career delivery schedule. Let me show you how to print Shopee shipping label. Click on the Shopee channel, select the career, select the orders, and click Bulk Print. You will be able to see a preview of the shipping label, the packing list, and the invoice that you have customized. Click Print. Once you have done printing, close the tab and refresh the page. The Shopee orders will then fall under the printed tab. For Lazada orders, go back to the To Print tab, repeat the same step to choose the career, select the orders, click on Bulk Print. After printing, close the tab and refresh the page. The orders will then fall under Printed. Once the Shopee orders are updated to Ship Status, they will then be removed from the Printed tab and show up under the Ship section. As for Lazada, they are now set to pack after your team has done packing the parcels, go back into the printed tab, select the orders, and set pending pickup. This will then set the orders to ready to ship. The Lazada orders will then be moved to pending pickup section. Once the order status is updated to ship, they will then be passed to the ship section and disappear from the pending pickup tab. If you wish to make Lazada ready to ship step systematic, let me introduce to you the Order Fulfillment Assistant and Career Manifest. You can decide which order stage to scan the Lazada order tracking number and auto set to ready to ship at the same time. From Order Fulfillment Assistant, you can go into the settings, then enable this function to set ready to ship for Lazada orders when you scan the airway bill. As for Career Manifest, if you go into the settings, you can also set the status for Lazada orders to be ready to ship upon scanning on the airway bill. If you set your Lazada arranged shipment status to ready to ship, then you can skip the pending pickup process. Once you have selected the order and click on arrange shipment, the order will be set to ready to ship. The order will then go into the to process section. From there, select the order and you can click bulk print. The order will then go into the printed tab and you do not need to set pending pickup again as the order has been set to ready to ship. When the ship status is reflected to the orders, they will then fall under the ship section. So that's all on how you can have the customizable shipping label documents and have all the Shopee and Lazada orders processed and fulfilled in one place from SiteGiant. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching the video.